Anyway, you know, starting from today, I'm calling this thing SARS-2. Because I mean, why would I keep calling it just COVID, right? It's a bit weird. Hello. 4.08 p.m. on Thursday, April the 16th. I know, it's a bit late. That's because I would like to do this vlog outside for the whole of the video. And once again, neighborhood exercise in where I am at my mom's location. Because at my father's location, it's a street. But my mother's location, which is here, it's a neighborhood. And yep, the park is already closed. And I just found out that they have once again closed the terrace. And this is the second time they have done that. Last time they closed the terrace, that was because they were doing some construction work and they were making some changes around. The garage was open, but the terrace was closed. It was closed for like a month. And now they have closed the terrace once again but also this time the garage. So I mean, it's like a red zone once again, but this time I'm just gonna say, anyway, you know, starting from today, I'm calling this thing SARS-2 because I mean, why would I keep calling it just COVID, right? It's a bit weird. So starting from today, I'm calling whatever this is, SARS-2, SARS-2, okay? There was a SARS once in 2002, right after I was born, but that was a different one. So that's why I'm calling this SARS-2. Anyway, let me begin my neighborhood exercise. So, so far today, I did about 2,600 steps, 2,700. I have to check about that right now, but I assume I am gonna be doing the highest number since March 22nd. Sometimes I am in this situation where I'm about to trip myself over when I come over these stairs. Oh, and hopefully not this time. Oh, it's not that cat, but it's an acorn. It's an acorn in there. You see? What if I... Oh, he ran right to that hole. I'm gonna hear this to him. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Couldn't get it. I can't get it now. He'll just have to run away down, but it's a bit difficult. But anyway, it's going up these. Yeah. Oh, another one. And another one right here. Geez, like recently, when me or anybody else does a walk around these stairs, the cats get the freedom. Obviously, because everyone just stays at home. But since I'm in the neighborhood and I can go out to do exercising when I'm in a neighborhood it can be this one it can be another one but a neighborhood then some cats come around when i'm on the stairs when it's near the greens you probably noticed that that park upstairs is still open like there's a kid having fun there crazy the terrace is closed the downstairs park is closed, but the upstairs park is still open. And there comes another guest as I walk up these stairs. And he is trying to... Oh, what are you trying to do, mate? Searching around. Uh-oh, is it that one with three legs? Probably it is, but let's see. Oh, I, I, I couldn't really see. Maybe you guys might have saw. Well, that's because I'm wearing glasses. And with glasses, I can't see as well enough as without. All right, so today I might be having the highest number of steps since March the 22nd. So far today it is about 4,600, while on April 3rd it was 4,900. And on March 22nd, the exact number of steps I took was 9,049. And today might be the new record for the highest number of steps since March 22nd and I guess that was also the highest number of steps I took per day since the last time I went training at the gym when I was running on the treadmills when I was running on the bike and I mean at first at the first days of going to training I would only go to swimming and because of that I would end the session with about five to six thousand steps at the end of October I started doing running and bike riding as well, along with swimming. 
and in November, December, I would do swimming and then running, but I would do up to like 10 minutes of running and I would run one minute and walk the other, and then again, I would run and that's how it would go. Run and walk every other minute. And then in January, it came to a decision where I just do running and bike riding without swimming. And I thought that was like a good idea because in January, the weather was kind of crap. I mean, normally in October, November, it starts to cool down. But I remember last year, November was like one of the warmest Novembers. That's why I continued doing the swimming at the MacFit. And then January came and I only started going to the fitness center of MacFit, just doing running and all that stuff. And there would be plenty of days since December that I would do over 10,000 steps. And the highest number of steps that I did in my lifetime is exactly at 21,005. I checked my health again. The number of steps I did was 4,839. And looks like I am gonna come home with 5,000 steps, which will very much likely be the highest number of steps that I've done since March the 22nd. Well, anyway, guys, I'm gonna go back home. So that means I'm gonna end this video here. It's short, but I'm gonna do it. Thank you for watching this video, guys. And I'll see you one day over the weekend, whenever that is. Have a good day.